Hey, what's up guys? It's time for another Journal Hospital reaction video. And the ongoing Carson versus Sonia. Is that how we're gonna say it? Sonny and Nina's name. <coughs> Smash name. And I'm very interested in it. I think it's really I think this is a really good storyline. I can't believe it. I'm like, what? I'm interested in a Carly and Sunny storyline. Nina. <sighs> Anyways, lording. As you saw at the end of last Friday, Carly had showed up at Nina's office. Now I think about it, Nina spent a lot of time in her office this week. Did she get any work done? <laughs> she had all these visitors. <laughs> Lordy. <clears throat> yeah, Carly's but Yeah. Carla was just going out talking about, oh, Sunny went and give me the time of day or something like that, and blah, 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 blah. I'm thinking, oh, uh, what? <laughs> and Nina's like, if Sunny had um came to her, she wouldn't have turned him away. <laughs> oh, yeah, and she mentioned that they had saw each other on New Year's Eve. <laughs> oh, that's I can't remember. Oh yeah, she was talking about how she um they were gonna have sex, but um if she didn't stop him, then they would have had sex. Did she talk about? Oh yeah, <laughs> she said they were set together, but they um that she had stopped it, and Carly has slapped um Nina. It was like a weak ass slap, but um Frank the um. Vice, um, the executive producer, he, um, he tweets every day about watching the show, and he makes it seem like this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> he was talking about the slap, and I'm like, that's a weak ass slap. <laughs> Basically, all the replies were talking about how weak the slap was. <laughs> and I saw somebody had, um, tweeted, um, a gif of the slap. That um the time that Sam had backslapped Carly, <laughs> and um, Jason's penthouse. I thought that was funny. Oh, I was trying, I can't remember what happened to him, but I'm sure Nicole um Nicole that Chloe Lord, I'm on the wrong fucking soap. <laughs> that Carly deserved it. Oh Lord, but it's funny. But I was like, Carly should have snatched Nina's hair. <laughs> for that. <laughs> I'm like, miss opportunities again. Oh, these writers. Come on, I wanted a fist fight, not an argument. That's... <sighs> Anybody can do an argument. I choose violence. <laughs> I don't know. If it's, I, it's It should be happening, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Carly goes back and she mad that Sunny's still there. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> That's his fucking house, not yours. He had that when you was with, yeah, he had that when, um, she was with, um, Lord, um, Jack. Yeah. <sighs> it's something so loud. He's like, I didn't know there was a family out there mourning me. Oh, he said that to Nina. Hmm? I said that something to Nina. I don't know. I just be writing shit. <laughs> but Sonny's still lying. He knew he had a family. He had his ring and he was talking about it with Phyllis and he still hasn't mentioned that he didn't want to know who he was. Okay? And Nina was just um following his wishes. She knew that he didn't want to know who he was and she just never told him. So, uh I still don't see what the harm is. It's not like anybody really missed them. They all moved on and Carlos trying to get with Jason. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> Lordy, but um Carlos like, if you're still here when I wake up then I'm even. And I'm like, okay, bye bitch. <laughs> and the next morning his ass was still there. <laughs> so she finally got a room at the um Metro Court. 
<laughs> um, Michael found out, and he was pissed. He was, like, yelling at Stunny. I'm like, um, oh, yeah, he asked Sunny um, if Carly took, um, Donna and Avery with him. I'm like, Avery is not her fucking child. <laughs> like, I saw like 500 tweets. Not that many, but I saw tons of tweets that were saying, um, Carla's not Avery's mom, so what the fuck? <laughs> That's between Sunny and Ava, what happens with Avery, not Carly. I don't recall Carly being part of the um, custody agreement, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I pay attention enough to know that for a fact, but. The people that do pay very close attention and have receipts <laughs> are saying that, so <laughs> I believe. <laughs> but Lordy, if anything else, Lordy Willow Willow comes over and is telling Nina to give up her rights to Wiley to make things better so Michael wouldn't be mad anymore. And then she's like, oh, then I can have it be where you can still see Wiley, but it'll be more calmer or whatever. I'm like, bitch, if you do not get the motherfucking out of Nina's office. Lordy. And she's talking about, oh, Michael be so mad from here. Come on, fuck you are there, bitch. Seriously, Willow is the most annoying dumbass bitch on the fucking show. Like, seriously, go the fuck away. Nina don't need to be giving up rights to her fucking grandson. And honestly, they talk about that child way too damn much. Like, seriously. It's not that serious about that child. But, Lord. Oof. But I think Nina is trying. I don't know. I wasn't paying that close attention to, um,. Friday's episode, but it sounds like Nina is going to try to get um, custody of Wiley or something. She was talking with Valentine on Thursday, trying to get him to help her um, bring out Michael. And Valentine said no, because he's like, when you go after Michael, you're also going after Sunny, and he don't want none of that. <laughs> and I say, <coughs> You know, don't go, don't go, <laughs> don't go after not dumb nuts. <laughs> but um, she was Nina was telling Ava everything. She told Ava that um, she's like, if I didn't stop Sunny, he would have made love to me. <laughs> Ava's face. She's like, Oh, tell me more, tell me more. Let me get my, give, let me get a martini and tell me more. <laughs> but it looks like Ava's going to use this to try to get custody of Avery or change the agreement somehow. Which I don't blame her. You know, some Carly fans are pissed at that. I'm like, but they're like, oh, they're taking her away from her stable home. What's so stable about Sunny and Carly's home? <laughs> Carly always yelling out here screeching and stuff, and they're having problems in their marriage. Nicholas and Ava aren't having problems in their marriage. <laughs> they don't have the soccer problem anymore. That was the only problem. And it looks like maybe Nicholas and Spencer are going to make up. Because uh, Laura was trying to get them to make up on Friday. And I'm like... <laughs> if y'all don't stop this, either make up or shut the fuck up about it. Because they just keep having these meetings and I really can't pay attention to them anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, I totally wasn't paying attention to them. But, uh, but Ava definitely should get custody. And Sunny's going off his meds because <laughs> he got a voicemail and a text message talking about refill his shit and... He didn't. He ignored them, deleted them. I think he deleted them, too. So, Sonny's going to go off his meds. So, even more glassware, girl. 
<laughs> but yeah, Michael showed up and they were arguing and shit. And then um Dante came and broke it up. I'm like, Dante, go away. Let's just let's try and pull out his gun. <laughs> oh yeah, someone said that my son said put out a hit for Michael, but I don't think I responded, but in my mind, I'm thinking, Sonny can just do it himself. He already shot Dante. <laughs> they shot Carly in the heck. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Lordy, I had just started watching Jade around that time. Lordy. <laughs> That's funny. But. Oh, yeah. Why did I put this out of order? <laughs> I'll go. She was mad at Sunny and asked him, why did she get to hear from Nina that they saw each other on New Year's Eve? And I'm like, because you went to her office. <laughs> I tweeted something like that. And I got a lot of likes. So I'm like, okay, some people agree with me. <laughs> but yeah, and now she's all. Uh, Sonny brought up Jason and said that part of her died with Jason and she stole it and <coughs> mentioned she was in love with Jason and stuff and that they were gonna fuck which I don't get why Sonny wouldn't know that they were gonna fuck like why else would they be in the room but whatever you know, Carly's talking to Drew again, and she's talking to Drew, saying that she wants to get to know the real Drew. And I'm like, Drew, you should have just walked away when you saw her there by yourself. You're going to regret it, definitely. Because if y'all don't end up to be a couple, she's going to be obsessed with you. If you have y'all guys ever break up, she needs a new obsession, and Drew's the closest she can get to, um... To Jason. <laughs> oh, left out the Ava tells Nina that um, Sunny's still in love with her. Why else? And yeah, and I'm thinking, yeah, if Carly doesn't want Sunny with Nina, then she should be fucking the Ava, the Nina love out of Sunny instead of <coughs> getting in. Nina's face and moving out of Sonny's house, but whatever. <laughs> but oh, uh, um, yeah, say, so, um, oh, where did I put? Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> funny. Ned got um, Tracy <laughs> released from prison. Well, he hired Martin to help. Get a release, but Alexis stood up and um, dropped the charges against her. So <laughs> it's funny, Martin showed up. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Ned's like, oh, Lord, some brothers are brought up. Um, or Tracy said, Laura's brothers. She's like, um, I know I set that up really wrong. I just want to say the quote. <laughs> She called Martin the Kentucky Fried Lawyer and the Ponytail Gangster. <laughs> then she fires Martin and Ned. And it's like, for the last time, mother, you can't fire your children. Not like your husband. <laughs> I'm like, I my mom fires me and I fire my mom back. <laughs> so it is. <laughs> yeah, the Lord... Drops the charges and Tracy just leaves, not saying a thank you. <laughs> Lordy, Alexis, Ned, and Martin, they're like, and Dante, Dante showed up. <laughs> and they're all talking shit about Tracy. <coughs> but, um, Brooklyn told Chase that Tracy does know that Bailey is really Louise. And so they need better security because if she can figure it out, somebody else can figure it out. So, Hayes is like, let's all move in together. <laughs> but, oh, <but> like, <coughs> that was really funny. 
<laughs> Brooklyn said that Gurney would do anything to help family. And Chase is like, even for you? I'm like, damn. <laughs> Are they going to get a house together? And I like Chase and all, but Chase is a weak ass motherfucker. Like, I can't believe that he'll be able to really protect Bailey and um, Brooklyn. <laughs> they should have just told, I still don't understand why they didn't, why don't they just. Tell Valentine and Anna, because Anna was grilling Maxie about it. Um, well, trying to piece together where could Louise be. And like I said before, they just like bring up Louise every once in a while. And it's like, it doesn't really seem like anybody was looking for her. Except for Chase, but Chase knows where she is, so. Yeah, I can't believe that Anna hasn't figured it out yet. Or Felicia. Because they all see how um, Maxie is around Bailey. But, <sighs> but uh, before I go, I'll talk about um, Sam and Alexis. They were talking at, Char at Charlie's. And... Um, Sam's like, oh, Christina and Molly said that they're so proud of you. And I'm like, I would have liked to hear from Molly and Christina, not just Sam. So I need JH to show them a little bit more, but that's like beating a dead horse. But Harmony showed up and Sam warned her to shut. She's got her eye on her, basically. <clears throat> and I legit forgot what Harmony did to make. Well, I knew, I remember she was in the dawn of day with Shiloh, but I don't remember exactly what she did. But somebody reminded me that she would put the drugs in the tea um, and gave it to the girl so that Shiloh could write them. So I'm like, yeah, that's a good reason to not like the bitch. But it's <clears throat> very unforgivable, but Harmony seems like she's changed her ways and I legit think that her friendship with Alexis is genuine or will it be more? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I like both of them. I like Alexis with Harmony and Sean so <clears throat> I don't know but these writers don't seem to want to write for the gays so uh, but Brad, oh, Brad and Brett had their moment. They were eating lunch <laughs> Brad said he didn't want to go to the Metro Court <laughs> and that he's afraid of his aunt. And he told um, Brett that he drunk Peter. <clears throat> he thinks it's a terrible thing. And I'm like, the only bad thing about it is that you didn't kill him. <laughs> That's the only bad thing, Brad. But I applaud you for your effort. I really appreciate it. <laughs> but, um,. Um, Bert said that she has somebody that can help Brad, and I'm thinking, hopefully it's a really hot guy that can help Brad in every possible way. Brad deserves some loving. As does Brett. <clears throat> I really like her chemistry with Austin. I didn't really care about the character of Austin. I'm not 100% convinced that I would like <laughs> They would have to do more with the character, but, um... Their chemistry is making me a little intrigued about what possibly could happen. So, just wait and see how that turns out. But I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> <clears throat> and thank you for still watching. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what you enjoy and didn't enjoy this week. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. I thank you very much. I love y'all. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Bye!